Let's delve a little deeper into this uh, supposed Hamas terror plot. We have News 5 editor Manny Mogato with us. Good evening, Mogs. Uh, Mogs, medyo yung audio mo, medyo mahina pa. Good evening, Robin. Ah, okay, good evening. Uh, Mogs, sa tingin mo, I mean, we, we hear a lot of plots, a lot of reports, but how significant is this particular report regarding the Hamas? Well, this is a very significant development because... Uh, if the Iranian-backed Hamas group gains foothold in the country, it would launch many attacks against Western and Israeli targets. And it could uh, make the Philippines a fertile ground for Islamic movements around the world. Uh, maybe the IS can come back in the south. Okay. Now, in, the, in the meantime, Mali, karamihan ng mga Muslim dito, Sunni. I mean, yes. what, would there be any group sympathetic to the Shias? Of course, there are many Shia groups in the Philippines, especially in Lanao and Zamboanga. And in the past, uh, Shia groups have been attacking uh, their rival Sunni groups in, in Mindanao. And we saw many assassination attempts of some Islamic clerics that are Sunni linked. So this is not new. Uh, but if there is really a plot by Hamas to uh, recruit operatives in the Philippines, this is a uh, very dangerous. Okay, but apart from that, sinabi rin ng PNP, the targets are Israeli nationals in the Philippines. But of course, the big context for us is the coming elections. Anong implikasyon nito sa May 2022? Well, Robin, if you recall, uh, may isang taon na, wala tayong... Terrorist attacks sa Mindanao, walang bombing, walang uh, suicide bombing dyan sa Sulu at sa Pasilan. Eh kung sakaling makarecruit itong Hamas, eh posibleng magkaguluhan sa darating na eleksyon. No? At uh, alam mo, sa dyan sa Mindanao, marami dyan mga Israeli uh, uh, banana plantation technicians na pwede nilang targeted, no? At uh, ang Pilipinas ay isa sa mga bansang nabiyayaan ng uh, maraming military equipment ng Israel. Mga parko, mga missile, at uh, posibleng may mga kumpanyang Israeli dito na potential target ng Hamas. Okay, maraming salamat, Mogs. That was News 5 editor, Manny Mogato.